Good morning, Storytime friends. Today, um, this book is Sing a Song of Seasons, a nature poem for each day of the year. It's illustrated by Fran Preston Gannon and it's selected by Fiona Waters. The first, first poem we can do together. Blow, breezes blow. Flow, rivers flow. Shine, sun, shine. And grow, flowers grow. I'll do it one more time. Maybe we can do it together. Blow, breezes blow. Flow, rivers flow. Shine, sun, shine. And grow, flowers grow. You can see some of the flowers on the page here. The next poem is about five little owls. Do you remember what owls say? Ooh, that's right. Five little owls in an old elm tree, fluffy and puffy as owls could be, blinking and winking with big round eyes at the big round moon that hung in the skies. As I passed beneath, I could hear one say, There'll be mouse for supper, there will today. Then all of them hooted, to wit, to woo. Yes, mouse for supper, woo, 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 woo. This is another bird that's in a tree, only this bird is going to make a home in a different place. This is a woodpecker, and they sound like this. The woodpecker pecked out a little round hole and made him a house in the telephone pole. One day, when I watched, he poked out his head and he had on a hood and a collar of red. When the streams of rain pour out of the sky and the sparkles of lightning go flashing by and the big, big wheels of thunder roll, he can snuggle back in the telephone pole. And this one is about two birds at a farm. The, the hen and Mrs. Duck. The big brown hen and Mrs. Duck went walking out together. They talked about all sorts of things, the farmyard and the weather. But all I heard was cluck, 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 and quack, quack, quack from Mrs. Duck. There's Mrs. Duck. Quack, 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 quack. And the hen. Gluck, 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 gluck. <clears throat> the next poem is about a dandelion. And you may have seen these dandelions growing in the grass. They're yellow at first, and then in a couple of days, they all turn white and you can blow the seeds away. So this is, oh dandelion, yellow as gold, what do you do all day? I just wait here in the tall green grass till the children come to play. Oh dandelion, yellow as gold, what do you do all night? I wait and wait till the cool dews fall and my hair grows long and white. And what do you do when your hair is white and the children come to play? They take me up in their dimpled hands and blow my hair away. This one is about some busy bugs. And you can see a lot of the, the bugs in this picture. Yeah. And a ladybug. 
Out in the garden, look down low. See all the busy bugs come and go. Wriggly bugs that can't keep still. Tiny bugs that build a hill. Shiny bugs that feed on leaves. Spotty bugs that climb up trees. Noisy bugs that live in the grass. Bouncy bugs that move so fast. Crawly bugs that hide in sand. Tickly bugs that like your hand. And also in this picture for our, our last poem is a mole. This is an animal that's about as big as a mouse and it's, it's out in the grass and sometimes it makes, makes little piles of dirt digging tunnels. The Song of a Mole. All I did this afternoon was dig, dig, dig. And all I'll do tomorrow will be dig, dig, dig. And yesterday from dusk till dawn, I dug, dug, dug. I sometimes think I'd rather be a slug, slug, slug. So I hope you get to go outside today and I hope you see some, some bugs and some maybe a mole or some birds. So 